Hi folks and welcome to Shick Happens. In today's episode, I'm just going to go over a few things that I'm going to be, some projects that I'm going to be starting on here soon. I'll do full videos on them, but just thought I'd give you some updates. Uh, as I previously mentioned, I want to do a video on making your own bacon. Right here is about 35, 40 pounds of pork belly that we took out of our hogs. There's uh, two of my buddies left theirs here along with mine. They're just vacuum sealed. Nothing's been done to these. They were just in the freezer. So these are going to go in the barn fridge here for the next two or three days to thaw out. And then I'm going to get going on getting them in a cure. That'll take about a week and then they'll go into the smoker and then they'll get sliced and voila, you got bacon. But I will be making a video a whole video on how we do smoked bacon from scratch. One of the other projects that I'm going to be working on soon here too, and I'll try to put a video together of that, is uh, I mentioned this before, a friend had dropped off a bunch of poplar. This was probably milled about 10 years ago. It certainly uh, meets the low moisture requirements. But uh, the other day I ran uh, 10 boards through the planer and I just need to uh, get out the drawing and get some of these cut up, get some glue ups done and get going on the shelving unit form. So that will be coming up real soon as well. Here's another project that was just thrown on me recently. A friend of mine, uh, he's actually a guy I work with, he has this or had this bench at his deer camp and he dropped this off to me last year about this time and for a case of beer he wanted me to fix it. It was all rickety and loose. The one end was fine, it was real tight, it was this end down here that needed a little TLC. So. I went to work on it, spent a couple hours on it, uh, re-glued a lot of the joints, and this side's still solid. Well, he dropped it off recently and said that he wants his case of beer back because I didn't fix it properly. The problem is, it's the end that I didn't mess with because there was nothing wrong with it. I'll give it a go. I'm not even going to ask for any beer. But those mortise and tenon joints are about shot. It's cracked and rotted underneath. I think he's just going to have to buy a new bench. But I'll give it a go. If it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to fix it, it's just going to go in the barn fire. It's like the guitar was moved. Earlier today I was out here practicing on the guitar, just brushing up on a few scales and my Schick Happens theme music. Just in case I lose the recording of that, I want to keep my finger memory in check, just in case I need to re-record it. But the Schickster came over and wanted to play uh, with that amp, and I, I just I told him no. He needs to learn a few chords and at least some basics before I even want him near that amplifier. But maybe one of these days uh, I'll sit down with him and show him a few of the basics. Hey Shakespeare, what you doing? practicing. I've kind of lost my touch in my theme music from my YouTube channel. And besides, there's just no basic chords. You can't even play that thing. Why would you want to use the amp? It's 47 degrees out. It's supposed to be almost 60 tomorrow. It's mid-January in Northwest Ohio. Last year at this time, 
it was like 15 degrees below zero without the wind chill. But I'm not complaining. Speaking of the Schickster, I know he recently collaborated with Joe at Capper Outdoors for a fishing video. You may have seen it. But I think I might have him get back in touch with Joe and instead of doing a fishing video, maybe he can take all these rods and reels and get them uh, relined, check everything on them. The ice fishing reels. I got some rod and reels back there and over on that rack over there there's another dozen that needs some tender loving care. That might be a good video for the Schickster to do for his YouTube channel. What do you think? Wow, I need a haircut. I'm not going to make a video on that. That was like the second or third YouTube video I ever made cutting your own hair and it bombed so we're going to avoid that but yeah the the wife normally cuts my hair for me and of course I needed a haircut a couple months ago she usually just gives me the military buzz but she broke her arm so I'm hoping here now that she's back to work and getting better use of it she'll be able to buzz all this nappiness off and my bald spot in the back isn't as noticeable when it's buzz cut. I know in the past I've done some cooking videos uh, with a little bit of humor in there. And I want to continue to do uh, cooking videos down the road. Right here is a couple of tips cut off of beef briskets. I only have so much room on the rack for my smoker. So I cut these tips off. And just put them in the freezer and then when I get two or three of these I just throw them in the crock pot uh, with a little broth and seasoning and slow cook them for about 14 16 hours on low these probably wouldn't qualify for a video but I do think there's going to be some more cooking videos here on Schick Happens down the road well thanks for joining me here today at Schick Happens um, I know in a previous video, Winter Projects, I covered some of these things, but I just wanted to give you all, all an update on the possibility of some upcoming videos here soon. Um, just to keep you up to speed and what I have going on and what you can expect here in the next couple months that shit happens. But thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Cheers.